In this ICT Basics video, we're going to go over a very simple uh, topic, and that is traditional swing stops. So, on my ICT Basics series, I've given you a series of different options for stops. Um, I've given you a flat point option, so just saying 20 points exactly. I've given you PD array based stops, like above a, an order block mean threshold, above the consequent encroachment of a wick, something to do with a PD array, right? Well, now I'm going to give you the traditional swing stop. So what is the traditional swing stop? Very simple, guys. Um, you can see it on my current position. Whenever you are entering into a new swing, let's say you're trying to catch a, a run down below some lows. Could be these lows, these lows. Could end up drawing down to this low as well. The traditional swing stop is we're going to slap it one tick above the most recent swing high. And that's basically it, guys. Um, you just slap a stop above the most recent swing high or the most recent swing low, one tick above or one tick below, and that is a traditional swing stop. So uh, let's get on a five-minute chart. Let's say, for example, that you were getting long somewhere in here, okay, somewhere in there. Where would your stop on a traditional swing stop go? Well, yeah, it would go all the way down here. One tick below that candle low because that, that is a swing, okay? Let's say that, uh, for example, we'll get back to the one minute chart. Let's say that you correctly identified that the market was turning down here. Where would your stop go? One tick above there. And then you're aiming for, you know, the market was drawing down to these lows here. Um, didn't quite take out that low at that time, got close, but didn't quite take it out. I'm going to. I'm probably, no, I'll leave it running. I'll leave it running for the duration of the video. Um, anyways, guys, a traditional swing stop is whenever you take a position, finding the most recent swing high or swing low and throwing your stop there. Now this, guys, is, is not to be confused with the uh, break even stop. So I'm going to go ahead and just put that in 164, spot 50. Okay. So, um, I'll show you an example of where a traditional swing stop worked out pretty well for me. I caught these three contracts long here, and I put a traditional swing stop below the most recent swing low, and it nearly came and ticked me out, didn't quite tick me out, and I ended up taking uh, a decent sized trade there. So, uh, you know what, guys? I think it's worth a shot. I think it's worth uh, seeing if traditional swing stops are your sort of preferred stop. I think they're, they're good. Um, you know, so again, just to give you another example, let's say you get long somewhere in here, your stop would just go one tick below that low right there, and that would be a traditional swing stop. And, you know, I would say they're, they're worth a shot. They're worth a shot, guys. I've given you multiple ideas for stops, a flat point stop, um, some sort of a PD ray based stop. I've talked about break even stops. So in this video, I wanted to cover traditional swing stops, and I'm going to be giving these a shot for a while and seeing how, seeing how those play for me. Um, Y'all have a good one, guys. In this ICT Basics video, we cover traditional swing stops.